Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Chaos Gamer coming at you with another Chaos Quest over here with more exciting times with Kingdom Clash. So, guys, this is a game I started playing not too long ago. It came up in an ad while playing another game. It is strategy base etiquette. Oh, network issue. Let's retry. Oh, we have Adelina, the queen of the forest. So, guys, this has been a really exciting game so far. I've been enjoying it and appreciating it. Any game that can catch my attention and give me enough of a feeling to throw some love to the devs, which I did, then that's always a game that I'm even more interested in. So, I'm still, like, a low level. At least I believe I'm a low level. I'm over at, uh, I think I'm at 100. Yep, I'm at level 154 down over here. Or 155, I'm not really sure. I think it's 154. And, guys, with it, again, guys, this is a strategy-type game. This is really about, like, you know, gathering your units, having your commanders and heroes. And, and guys, this is something I really like. It gives me a bit of, like, a uh, a different type of feel of back when I used to play World of Warcraft. Uh, not World of Warcraft. Warcraft, Starcraft, all those other ideas. And I love the idol. I love the fact that there's... I don't like when there's too much idol, but I do like when there's a bit of a, oh, hey, look, I got my 5,000 gold. So that way, if I do hit a problem, I can still get more cards with the cards of the units and everything else that you get so i'm in good shape so let's show you what i have so far and any of you veterans out there watching this well don't hate on the noob i'm loving you guys i'm loving this stuff over here so i got a bunch of heroes i started out with this guy and uh, let me tell you to start off what a great hero i was really excited to start with him i used him for a lot of i mean guys i know i'm still an early game i don't even have enough to be in a clan but i feel like he's really good for early game, at least that's what I felt like. Now, the reason I got an upgrade is because I did that premium pass, which got me... Oh, okay, I was, thought I was going to scroll to the next hero. Uh, there we go. Up oh, too far. Too far! So, I ended up upgrading to the premium pass, uh, which or whatever it's called for this specific event. I, I was gauging it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to, because I'm, I'm coming in late with this whole season thing. I think it's over like another week or two. We'll come back and look at that in a second. Because, guys, something to consider when throwing love to the developers, and, I, guys, I think it was only $4 or something, $4.99. To me, it's just always super important to throw a little love to the guys making these games. Otherwise, how are they going to keep doing updates and, uh, you know, keep furthering the game? So that's why I looked at it, but it is always good to be smart in how you support a game in the respect of... Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I'm having a little issue IRL here. Okay, there we go. So, that being said, so one of the issues sometimes getting a premium pass is that maybe the season's about to end. So I had a little time, and I decided, let's give this game a whirl, and I got this Death Knight. Uh, I'm not remembering his name at the moment, but this Dark Knight... There's a name over here somewhere. He's epic. He's undead. I really like him. I got him a level two, um, and I just like his skills and abilities and how he is set. But anyway, other heroes that I got, I love this druid. I haven't had a chance to use him, but I'm a huge fan of druids. So Bjorn over here will get lots of use. Um, and uh, uh, Marita, another one that I picked up the other day, uh, The our, our sword master. Oh, what's the deal? Oh, okay, I get it. So they're either like... So I've got a Dark Knight. He doesn't have a name. He's just a generic Dark Knight. But this is Bjorn. Bjorn, he's a personality. He's a hero. He is from the mountains. Is going to wreck your face. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm going too crazy. So here's the different things. I think I can upgrade. Yeah, I can upgrade. So guys, when you collect cards and things like that, you can upgrade the units. I'm not upgrading anything at the moment. I gotta look at stuff and see how much gold I have. So those are the heroes I've picked up so far. Now let's take a look at the troops. I haven't gotten a lot, but I think respectable ones. Um, and guys, I really like how you have the different units between the archers, obviously covering standard range. Infantry being the cannon fodder that's gonna be the first to die. And the iron guard. Guys, the iron guard, they remind me of little Spartans getting out there with their gigantic freaking shields and spears doing their thing. So, anyway, guys, there's different units. You have assassins, which actually teleport in the beginning, which is super cool. And every one of these... So, okay, I click on a huntress. Huntress is a legendary that I have. So, this way you guys can see the different things. So, carries two weapons, one for monsters and one one for men. Okay. Uh, get into the shop or by purchasing a troop. Car well, okay, so anyway, you have different things in the attack. You have its HP or whatever. Um, but what I want to show you guys is its powerful... Uh, excuse me. Uh, pow powerful salvo. Uh, firing uh, all ammo and, and just things like that. That just like happen as an exciting thing over here. Sorry guys, I am slightly multitasking while doing this. Another one I like is the butcher. Look at this guy. Come on, tell me you don't get feelings and thoughts and reminiscence of like the original Diablo of a, ah fresh meat. This must be what the butcher looked like, you know, before he gets mangled and thrown into that that dungeon thing. Anyway, guys, let's see what we got. Uh, and also, guys, just show you the map. You have the map over here. 
And guys, I'm doing more of a, an, an explanation on each thing for those who are maybe new like me. If you're having an opportunity where you're a gamer, but you're new to this, you're looking for a new game. Guys, I really... Uh, Arzo! Ar, uh, if, if you're watching this, man, here's a new game for you to try. It's actually a lot of fun. So, we have the head-on thing, which I like this because it refreshes every day. So if you're stuck on the campaign, at least you get a little... Some knocks in every day with your head um, In fact, let's do it. I'm going to do this one. The guys, this is going to be super easy for you. But I want to explain to you what I'm doing with over here. So, with this, guys, you are thinking strategy. You are not just thinking about leveling up that one hero, which, of course, you still want to do that. I've got my hero over there. And I can even choose. I can change the hero I have. Judging by the different spaces, because there's three landing spots for the hero... I don't know if that means I'll have more heroes later, but I can move my hero to different sides. Personally, I like having him in the back. Why? Because there's a strategy behind it all. So, the way I've structured my troops and everything over here, and I saw someone give a comment, I totally agree. Definitely good to have numbers and everything else. So, I mean, I feel like this stage, if I upgrade too fast, then I'm not going to have enough volume of, of units to handle the massive numbers. So, here's my breakup over here. And guys, just like any game, like, you know, you have your tanks, your support, your, your DPS. So, think of it that way. My whole first row is these guys. It's, uh, it, it's my iron, I, I don't remember the name of it, but, so I've got my defensive units in the front, and I've got their gigantic shields. Right behind them, i got my butchers, because they're a little tanky, but, like, you know, uh, they, I, I don't want them to take all the abuse, I want them to do some damage. Uh, and then I've got my lancers. Guys, I really like these lancers. I like how they just punch right through, breaking through the enemy lines. So I've got two on either side, and then my, my death knight, he does the same. They all race in, but I have him in the back for a reason, guys, but we'll get to that. So my first row, this guy, that's all defensive units to hold the line. Second row, I've got my, I've been calling them giants sometimes, my butchers slash giants, not really giants, this, and then my two lancers to punch along the sides. Now, I actually like having them in the middle, but again, I've got my hero for that if necessary later on. And guys, feel free to give me critiques on this in general. So then after that, I've got my layer of legendaries to go in there and do their thing, and I've got my infantry, because they're not exactly that tanky, so I want them to be able to get the hits in, but I want my iron guard to take all the damage. And again, guys, I'm going off of my own thoughts as far as, like, military uh, type of strategy, StarCraft, WarCraft, all those things of what I would do. My next line, I then have my range. So I've got my range archers. Uh, because, now, I could be wrong on this, but what I had noticed, I did this for two reasons. Reason one, when I had my archers in the back, it seemed like they didn't have the range they had to walk up. I believe, and we'll double check this when I go to hit the attack, uh, this range, they don't have to move that far to start shooting and firing at the enemy. Of course, if they have lancers, they can chip through and get to there too, I believe, but we'll see. Then behind my archers, I've got my bombers. They've got more of an area of effect and hitting nice and hard. Uh, so, again, these are all range. So I pretty much have it where from my, after my first one, two, three rows, I start to introduce my range so that they can go overhead, taking out, doing massive amounts of damage, while my frontline heroes are just holding a line and getting all the other stuff in there. So then from there, guys, I've, I've got my imps, mimps, the imps are airborne. Now, again, let me describe why I got some of this stuff. So I got my catapults, and I believe the frontline catapults can hit right away. So then the last line I want to talk about, I've got my assassins. What's really cool about the assassin unit is they immediately teleport to the other field side behind the enemy lines. So I've got one, two, three, four squares of various levels of my assassin. However, this is what you have to consider what I'm personally considering and why I've got my hero in the back. Because sometimes your enemy has assassins and they'll do the same thing. So I don't want my range units to get destroyed because if I have got my range units, then while my frontline attack is defending my line, my I, and I'm like pointing with my fingers if you can see it. I, actually, I don't know if I've got it on where you can see what I'm touching. Hopefully you do. But like, so if you can... Ah! Oh, shoot, I hit something. Uh, I think that was there. Yeah. So anyway, guys. So they, uh, I've got my Death Knight and I've got my Imps and I've got two paladins on both sides to cover my bases for my own protection because I don't want my assassins teleporting. They're totally DPS guys. They don't give a crap about the archers. They are gone. We start, they're out of there. So that's why I've got my hero, I've got my imps, and I've got my paladins so that in the event that they've got assassins as well, at least they're defending so that, and guys, I mean, the, the, all the, the range guys are going to do their job too. It's in the sense that like the archers will turn everything else. I do have a couple other things over here. I, I really do want to do something with um, my Pyrotech. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to think of a good spot for him. But I haven't really had much of an issue yet. I'm currently rocking at 30,000 power. 
Let's see what happens on this. And, and guys, this is not a fair example because, look, guys, I mean, I'm on, they only have 53. But let, let's see what happens. And then we'll do it. See? There goes my Lancers punching right through. Now, in this case, there was no assassins, so my Death Knight went straight through, right down the middle, punch it through there. You didn't have to punch through much because they were already freaking dead. And they're dead. Nice. Okay, I'll come back to that in a second. Let's see how we do on an actual... Oh, I got to level these guys up. Uh, guys, I haven't leveled up because I've been a little, like, you know, uh, conservative about my gold because I want to be able to get as many units as possible. Um, and then also, guys, the other things I want to throw out, like, in the sense that you have your spins. If you have a lot of gems, you can do it. You know what? I haven't spent any gems just for the purpose of this video. Let's see what I get. There, I just spent 120 gems. That is the currency used in the sense if you're going to actually buy some. Whoa, there we go. I got 15,000 gold. Woohoo! Okay, so back to our battle. Battle stations, everybody. And don't forget about your quests, because all these quests are getting these guys over here, which will get you then um, your rewards. Uh, this resets. I did this for the season. It's going to reset in 12 days. Uh, and this is why I did the premium pass. I did the battle pass. That's what got me my death knight. Anyway, moving on. Let's go to our battle. Here's what we got. So it's 213 versus 280. Now, guys, I've had a successful run so far. I have not lost yet with this. I mean, with tweaks here and there. This has been the design I've been using, and it's been working thus far. Now, um, I don't see a hero, so that's a good thing, in the sense of what I've got to deal with. And I've kind of found that with this specific lineup, as long as there's not a crazy hero that's going to do mass amounts of damage, I'm in pretty good shape. Uh, then, guys, if I want to buy stuff, I click here. Uh, I've been going for the, the four-star ones. Uh, I was doing the lighter ones just to pick up some more volume on my units. But that's why, guys, if you, like, don't have a lot of gold and you just want to get units, bam, you can do it. In fact, let's do it. Uh, I, actually, I really don't want to. Never mind. So, uh, I want to save that for a second. Okay, so let's see what happens, guys. And, again, the barracks is where you can change your positioning before going. And let's see what happens. There we go. They're going in for the kill. But notice, guys, how my assassins teleported there immediately. They had assassins teleported. There's my Death Knight doing their job. Paladin's defending. So now my archers are safe. Uh, my guys are still going. I, I always have my rally point set. Yeah, the rally point. I, I put my rally point in the back to help uh, with uh, the assassins. It looks like we did a pretty good job chewing these, these units down. So I'm really not worried. Um, so we're in good shape there. Uh, and actually, my, my apologies. I meant to actually have some sound, but that's okay. Uh, maybe next video. So, and there we go, guys. Um, so that was a quick little battle. Uh, as you see, um, I was severely outnumbered. But, well, not severely. But that, that was, like, definitely a... a, 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 a uh, uh, I was at a disadvantage from a number standpoint. But I believe from protecting my units, protecting my DPS, I was able to keep it going. So now, guys, what we're going to do really quick, I'll do one more because I do believe that uh, we're about to get some serious gold uh, from all of this. Let me just raise the in-game volume just a touch. Okay, and let's do it, guys. Uh, yeah, so we just moved to the next level, uh, 155, and let's make it happen. Man, we're going in for the kill. I have slow no sound, but that's okay. So, guys, again, my assassin teleport went back there. Uh, my my units in the back defended my my uh, my range DPS, so now I'm able to keep on going, doing mass amounts of damage over the top, and just watching as their numbers are melting. I can also zoom in, watch my Death Knight really go at it. Look at this guy; he's just wrecking house and taking names. Oh baby, there we have it, guys. Okay, and they are done. So, and guys, I, I meant to, like, lower the volume. I didn't mean to kill it entirely. I don't know what happened. It's just not working. So, uh, but that's okay. We'll come back for that for another time. You get to just hear my beautifully sexy voice a little bit more. I know some of you like to enjoy your morning coffee with a little dose of Chaos's voice. So, anyway, guys, there's that. Let me quickly show you the arena because I finally got that. Uh, I like the idea of doing this because, again, as someone who um, plays a decent amount of phone games, why do I play a lot of phone games? Because I'm an adult now, and being an adult kind of sucks sometimes. So this is my IRL escape, and anything that can, like, can sneak away and do in the midst of the workday or whatever it might be, um, or, and not, or, or, like, not that I'm driving, but maybe if you're driving and playing at the same time. But don't do that, guys. Oh, I can't show you guys. I did all of my battles. I do kind of like this, guys, where you have 20 hits that you can do. Uh, I'm ranked two. I just started, guys. So uh, there we go. Here we look at my lovely little profile. Oh man, look at this! Look at that! Look at that handsome guy. No clan yet because I'm I'm not far enough yet. Uh, I picked the paladin because well, I personally like that. Um, and let's just do one more battle for kicks and giggles. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. So nothing's changing on this. And let's do it. Go go go, guys. Go go. Oh, there we go. See, look at those assassins. But there's my imps and paladins defending my archers. There's my hero doing its job. I already have my lancers. And, guys, notice how 
Like, I feel that because of my lancers punching through, that I'm able to have a better just push in general with this stuff. See, and look, in this case, my assassins really cleaned up. They're coming back to join the fray. What I like with the assassins are they come back and they can either kill the lines and they die and distract, or if they meet my guys in the middle, I know that I've got it. Uh, you know what, guys? Let's just keep on going until I fail. Uh, so let's do another one over here. Uh, no hero, so I'm in good shape there. Let's see what they got. I mean, can I see it? I don't know. Am I able to see it? View level. Oh! Well, that's useful. Uh, I just found this now, guys. Um, so, I, actually, I was struggling because the level was kind of annoying me. Uh, so, there we go. Now you can have a better view of what we're looking at, minus the levels as far as my bombers, as far as my assassins. Uh, my random mage back here, I don't know if I, I may... You know what? Let's let's just... Here, let's just swap that for now. Maybe, 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 no. Okay, i got to take you off first. And let, let's see if anything will happen differently, although I doubt it. Uh, I, again, guys, I'm still learning some of these units. Anyone, uh, feel free to, to uh, make any comments on the comments below about things I can do differently, uh, or hit me in Discord, because I will be sharing this video in the Discord, uh, if you've even watched this far. But let's watch one more time. So again, my lances are punching through. The assassins are in the back. They're trying to take out my catapults. They got one catapult, but my paladins defended. Hero defended. Now they're coming in. Oh, man. Look at my assassins. I said to change my rally point to make sure it's behind enemy lines. My assassins did a pretty good job taking out a lot of their range. Because remember, guys, if you don't take out that range, they're going to chip away at your main units while they're just trying to get through the front line. Oh, baby. Look at this. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to move my rally point a little closer so we can be more useful effect. Well, I mean, obviously, I got this one. So anyway, guys. I hope you liked this quick little video. I just want to show you a couple of things, a bit of the strategy that I have personally used. Um, you know, so again, like with that, this is just the thing that I've chosen. Feel free to give me your opinions and advice on it. Um, for anyone who plays the game, I hope you're enjoying this and I uh, hope this has some useful stuff. Anyone interested in the game, guys, please give it a whirl. Give it a shot. This is really a fun game. I cannot wait for clans. I mean, 250 feels a little high, but at the same time, I, I still have no idea what I'm doing. I'm 100 levels away, but I feel like by the time I get to that, I'll actually be be like useful of sorts so and maybe i'll be in a higher league oh and here's another thing guys so something to look at with the awards uh oh, oh wait history my awards will be lower whatever okay so here's like the different um you got diamond three and you have all the different awards you can get if you reach those ranking levels so i, I, I think these are all very realistic and very like um, appreciated type of things i'm excited because of the compensation that and, uh, because of the being bronze two i get the compensation of crowns i have not gotten into crowns yet or needing that for a currency but i'm excited to see what happens let's see my history see i've been doing pretty good guys lots of victories under my belt Woo! Oh, yeah. what a defeat I don't remember that, but okay, I guess I... Oh, another one! But overall, guys, I've been doing pretty good, I think. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked this video. If you like what you see here, make sure you hit the like button. If you really like hearing my voice and it's I'm turning slowly into your virtual motivational support animal, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you need to hear my voice as a motivational support animal, then private message me, and I'll be freaking weird. But I will gladly accommodate. Anyway, if you like what you saw, uh, I said all that. Uh, that being said, guys, I'm the Chaos Gamer. I I'm having a, a bit of an issue turning this off. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, see you all next time.